Today, the third special session officially kicked off at our state capitol. The governor added several agenda items to this session's call, but one that affects every Texan is redistricting. Tensions have been high between Republicans and Democrats at the capitol. As Maggie Glenn reports, redistricting causes fighting across the aisle on its own. And with only 30 days to get it done, lawmakers need to work pretty quickly. Lawmakers gavel in Monday, this time with no worries of Democrats breaking quorum. As I'm glad the Democrats, at least more of them, have shown up to work this time. This is a much more discreet special session, much more narrow call. Even though relations aren't as strained as they were during the last two special sessions, redistricting adds tension even within party lines. You can minimize the power of people's votes by either drawing them into very compact districts that only have people of a particular interest group. We all know our neighborhoods that we represent. And if you're oversized, you want to give up the ones that you don't like as much. And if you're undersized, you want to pick up the ones that most likely would support you. Redrawing new districts is meant to ensure every vote counts and no population is overlooked. Texas District 140 lines were drawn to exclude my community from having any say in what flood mitigation funding efforts occur in neighboring Texas House District 141 a historically African-American American district. In the past, it's ended up in the courts and is expected to again after this session. Of our job as Democrats is to build a strong record. Texas lawmakers no longer need pre-approval from the feds before adopting the new maps. That's because a 2013 Supreme Court decision removed the pre-clearance requirement of the Federal Voting Rights Act. We don't have as much protection as we used to in the courts. Republicans vow to draw the lines fairly and get it done in 30 days. So we'll make sure that every vote counts. And, and I'm feeling really good about the way the amount of preparation that's taken place is going to position us to get this done in just a few weeks. Also on the call this session, lawmakers will be deciding how the state spends nearly $16 billion in federal relief funding. Other items include banning businesses from mandating the COVID vaccine and a bill that would require Texas students to play sports based on biological sex rather than sexual identity. Maggie, we want to ask you about the likelihood that lawmakers will get to everything that the governor has already set out on that agenda. Right, so obviously redistricting is a big enough item to tackle on its own and lawmakers do only have 30 days compared to uh, nearly 180 days during the regular session. But the difference is the regular session, they're going to be going through thousands of bills uh, compared to this session when they really only have a few hundred. Okay, always so informative. Thank you so much, Maggie.